Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Scrap Mechanic Survival, and today we are getting our revenge. Last episode, we went to the warehouse, and it did not go too well because we came pretty underprepared, not knowing what to expect. But this time, I have done a lot of farming, and we are very, very, very prepared. Let me show you what I got here. So on me, I have about 750 ammo, and I also have 40 bananas and 30 cow's milk. So I think we're going to be okay for hunger and thirst. But just in case, just in case that's not enough, in my uh, looting vehicle here, I've got another 500 spuds and some uh, fruit and some vegetables for extra hunger and thirst control if I'm even going to need that. Now, because I had to do so much farming to prep for this episode, I decided to uh, make watering this plot a little bit easier. You remember my t dual turret control system that was just very, very slow and not so accurate? But uh, this is all watered because I've been testing it out. But now I have this, and it's not absolutely perfect, but it can water pretty much all 100 crops in about 40 seconds. And all I gotta do is press this button and check this out. Pretty cool, huh? Now, the only uh, thing about this is that it sags down a little bit, and I can't think of a really effective way to support it at the other end, because this end is moving out to the side, so I can't just put, like, a, a wheel here or, like, a bar to support it here or something. But as you can see, it does work pretty well. It seems to sometimes miss this very corner, though, but uh, that's fine because I could just take one of these buckets and then use these to just fill in whatever small gaps and it still cuts down so much on time so yeah that's just uh it's four level five pistons and a couple of controllers and one of the controllers these uh these pistons just extend and contract and that's it and then these pistons very very slowly extend to the side as it's extending and contracting and then i have these hooked up to two containers two water containers each with their own vacuum pump so they're bringing in two water per second and that allowed me to farm pretty well. And I've, I didn't do any repairs to this wall since I started doing that. And I'm a, I am need to eat. And this is all that I've sustained for damage. So this, uh, this wall method here is super effective at keeping them away from the farm. But there's more stuff I want to do with the wall at my farm. But we're going to have to save that for future episodes. First... We're heading out right now to the warehouse. I'm gonna- I hope I can find the same warehouse that I went back to, but there's something- there's a problem. I'm a little bit annoyed at something that I've discovered. I watched Squiddy- I Ballistic Squid's video of him going into the warehouse, and he was taking 40 damage from the tape bots. 40 damage per hit, which means that he could take three hits before dying, I was taking 55 damage per hit, which meant I died on the second hit. So I'm a little bit confused as to why that is. I don't know if it's uh, there was an update in between his recording and my recording that they made the tape, tape bots more dangerous, or if there are different warehouses that uh, have different uh, danger levels of tape bots, because I think it's possible that different warehouses have different numbers of floors. So maybe the ones with more floors are more difficult, including the amount of damage that you take. Or it may have just been an update. Maybe, they, maybe they're maybe they doing some balancing to the uh, tape bots or something. But we're going to find out if today, if I'm still taking 55 damage or what the deal is. Hopefully not. Okay, I found a warehouse and I'm like 99% sure this is not the warehouse that I found before. This looks like it only has three levels compared to the other one. So maybe this will be an easier warehouse. So I'm gonna go into this one. We got to the third level last time and died there. The other one had like four or five levels. So, oh, no, 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 I forgot about the tape bots. Oh, there we go. Oh, that almost hit me. All right, so I'm going to park my vehicle right out here and watch there be another boss in here. Um, and I think somewhere on me, I have another warehouse key. So even though we haven't been here before, it should be fine. All right. Let's just work our way in very cautiously. I kind of do want to get hit once as I'm working my way in because I want to see how much damage these guys do. Oh, you think I can get that guy way over there? Well, I hit him. 
There we go. He didn't even try to shoot me from over there. They must have like a damp or a distance that they'll be comfortable shooting. I'm not gonna loot around the outside. If we make it through the warehouse, then I'll loot around the outside on the way out as a victory lap. Oh boy. All right, well, I'm just gonna leave the batteries too. I'm just determined. I'm just determined to get my revenge on these warehouse bots. I am actually prepared this time. I am so prepared this time. I learned from my mistakes last time. We're gonna do this. Second warehouse attempt. Here we go. I forgot I have to press the, the elevator button and wait for the elevator. All right, second warehouse attempt. Here we go. I also gotta wait for the elevator to go up to the warehouse floor. All right, second warehouse attempt. Here we go. All right. Entrance looks about the same. I hear someone already. All right, they're through there. So the beginning of this warehouse looks exactly the same. I wonder if all the warehouses, the first floor is the same as the second floor is the same as the third floor and so on. All right, this is where I died the first time. 55 damage. Dang it. I was really hoping for less. Man, they are so quick to react too. All right, let me fill up here because if I'm full, then I recover my health a lot quicker. All right, that I think is good enough. All right, man, they kill me in two hits. Two hits is all I get. Last time there was somebody that killed me right over there. He's not there. There we go, there we go. All right, I am, I am back for revenge. I am coming with a vengeance this time. They better beware. Oh, I think that's the direction I have to go. Did he drop something? He did. Is it? Oh, it's a battery. Wait, no, this looks different. This is, all right, this warehouse is not the same. This warehouse is not the same as the last one. It's, ooh, loot, loot, loot. Is this area important to be in at all? I just have to find the elevators, I'm pretty sure. I find the elevators and then and I can slowly make my way up to the top and figure out what the significance of doing that even is. Can I? Oh, it's glass. They are so erratic in their movements. Don't worry, we'll kill that guy. I wish we had like throwables, like grenades, you know? All right, ready, boop. All right, I'm feeling so much more confident now that I know I have a lot of spuds. Actually, speaking of, let me put this down here. Whoa, I destroyed one of these things. <laughs> That's kind of cool. But you still can't, you still can't take them. Even when they're not attached to the ground, you still can't take them. All right, well, let's make our way further into the warehouse and wish me luck, guys. Last time I said one like equals one success, but I, d I guess I didn't get enough likes because we did not get one success. Um, so maybe try again. A little bit more likes this time and we'll see if we're successful. I see you there. I see you. Oh, there's another one right there. Where are oh my goodness, they are so difficult to peg. Wait, what? There we go. I could have sworn that one went like right through his head. Oh, how did he not hear me? Sometimes they know exactly where I am like so quickly and other times I'm running right behind them and they don't even see me. It's really hard to predict how they're going to detect you or when they're going to detect you. Like see, he didn't even react to me but then other times they just like instant reaction. All right, we're gonna move through this warehouse a little bit quicker. I'm feeling a little bit more confident. He already knows what, see that? Like that guy was on it. Oh, we got a guy down here too. Are you kidding me? I didn't get to heal after all that? I'm gonna take one stack of ammo. Uh, I'm not even gonna take my, my food because I think I can get in there and deal with this quick enough to get my stuff back. All right, here I go. I'm back where my loot bag is. Where's this guy that killed me? 
I feel like he's under me right here. I think 55 damage, I think you should be able to survive two hits from these guys, at least. At least two hits from these guys. One seems a little, a little OP. Oh no, here he comes. Oh, okay, there we go. It is so nerve wracking knowing that I can only take a single hit when they see me. It's just like, I'm dead, I'm dead. If they hit me, I'm dead. All right, I'm not gonna go through those again. I'm just gonna follow, I'm just gonna try to find the elevators and make my way up. I'm gonna follow the tape. Ooh, I dodged a shot and killed him. That's how it's played. That's how it's played right there. Another room, I remember this room. I don't have a headshot, so I don't want to take it. If I hit him through there, he's just going to get alerted to me, and then he's going to shoot at me. So you know what I'm going to do? I am going to walk on the ground, and he shouldn't see me down here. Just like this. Oh! 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 No. Oh! There's a lot in here. Oh! Oh! What's happening? Stop that! Stop with the noise! Making me nervous. I feel like he's looking for me. This place is interesting. These caution blocks were not blocking the path when I was in this in the other warehouse. Yeah, these were open. That's so weird. It's different. All right. All right, I think we've made it through safely. Utility, utility, elevator, elevator, yes. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. All right, we're already one floor down, or one floor up. We, we've done, we gotten one floor down, so we can go one floor up. That's confusing. Wait, is that? Is there, a, is there a loot crate right there? How do I get the loot crate? Hold, hold on, hold. On. How do I, how do I get? Get the thing. I can do this. I can. I'm stuck. I can do this. I can do this. All right, here we go. Oh, I can't get up. Wait, wait, wait. Can I get up there? No, I can't get up there from here. How do I get up there? I want the loot. Come on, yes, 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 I made it, I made it. All right, now I just have not messed up this jump. Ooh, there we go, parkour. All right, what do I get? Oh, of course, that one's stuck. Ah, oh, man, that's probably a component kit too. All right, well, let's get in the elevator onto floor number two. Okay, this is exciting. Oh, I gotta eat, let me eat, let me eat. Something to do in the elevator. All right, we're pretty good on hunger and stuff. Here we go, we got another tape bot. Ah! <laughs> Ooh. It's really hard not to panic when you miss that first shot and they start shooting at you. All right. Storage? I mean, what? What? <laughs> he jumps down and got hurt. Ooh, he's got a component kit. Storage sounds like it would be interesting if I could loot, but I can't loot yet. So let's ignore storage. There's definitely somebody in one of these rooms. There he is. Ah! Why did I just die instantly? Did they? It said 45. It said negative 45, like I took 45 damage and died. I think what must have happened is that guy, there was a guy right behind that corner when I went to shoot the other guy. And I think they both hit me at the exact same time and I died. There's like, this is so hard guys. You have no time to react. Why? I can't run. This is as fast as I can run right now. Oh no, oh no, this is bad. When I'm holding this, what is this? When I'm holding the spud gun, I can't run faster than this. Look, all right, here's me running. Here's me running, here's me running with my lift. Here's me running with my hammer. Here's me running with my spud gun. Is this game just, is this, is this game just out to get me right now? It does not want me to be successful at these warehouses. Here, let me try getting in my seat, getting out again. Nope. Nope, that's not working. I can't run with a spud gun anymore. I hope my game isn't glitched. I'm gonna exit and come back in and hope that everything's fixed. All right, I'm back. All right, now I can run normally. 
All right, we're back in. I have to make my way up to the second floor now in order to get my stuff back. And I'm actually a little bit concerned if my stuff ends up glitching away or getting despawned for whatever reason, then I lose hundreds of spuds and I'm going the wrong way. All right, I made it to the second floor again. We didn't run into any problems getting up here. Oh, look at this. My bag is visible without having to actually go in there. Come on. There we go. Perfect. It makes me so much more comfortable if I just have the stuff on me, because then I know if I die again, uh, it'll be in that new bag. All right, so now I'm going to eat. And we have an issue here. We are we have a tape bot on the right side of this corner and the left side of the Satan T intersection. So we have to get both of them. And only we can only sustain one hit with both of these guys just waiting for us. Wait, did I get that guy up there? I don't, maybe I, f I forgot if I actually got him. I may have gotten that guy oh, when this guy killed me. No, nope, he's still up here. All right, not that way. Where then? Where is he? Well, let me check these places really quick. I found loot in here before, so now I always check. All right, so no loot in there. Man, this is a different room. Oh, there's some loot. There we go. Oh, and there's another one right there. That was almost deadly. Is there another guy in here? Yeah, I hear someone. I just don't know where. Opponent kit is nice. Ooh. This is a very filled room. Stupid radios. Stop it. I'm trying to put some atmospheric music in my videos. And you ruin the atmosphere. Whoa! Oh, no, 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 no. Oh! That was close. That was close. Oh, you take one hit and you know you're dead if you can't get the shot off. Oh. Yeah, there is there is no room for error. Well, there's room for one error, but that's it. Just one. Oh, hello, tape bot. Boop. Really? Did I miss? Oh my goodness. There's yeah, I can't be doing that. I cannot be doing that. Can't be doing bad shots like that. Alright, alright, we gotta step up our game. All right, I'm just gonna camp out a little bit because I do not want to encounter a tape bot when I have less than half health because they'll kill me in one shot. No room for error. All right, we're good on health now. Let's continue on. Apparently we're going up these stairs. Ooh, what is this? That's a cool piece. I like this material. That's a really cool texture. I like it. All right. Uh... Oh, another one of these maze things. No, I, we need to go up. This is all about going up to the top floor, so I'm always going to take the opportunity to go up when it's there. All right, here we go. All right, he must be around this corner. Yep. Oh, there we go. Avoided the shots there. That was pretty decent. Oh, there's one right there. All right, ready for this? Is he facing me or not? He is facing me, and there's a plant just kind of blocking his head. All right, here we go. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, another chest, too. Okay. Broccoli, that's good. That is real good. Man, I hate it when there's multiple directions to look. Just trying to clear the area. All right, there's tape over there. What's down here? stairs going down. We're going through the tape. There's a tape bot right there. He is facing away from me, so we should... No! 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 Oh! Oh! Oh, and he broke this, too! Ah! Oh! We survived. We su Where did he come from? I checked that area. I checked that area, and then he came after me. Oh. If there was any time I should have died, that, that was it right there. Wait a minute. Why does this go back down? They all go back down? We're back in this area? Um, all right, maybe it's not as linear as like just up equals up. I don't have any Wait, wait, wait. I'm being stupid. Oh, uh oh. 
He still hit me after that? Are you kidding me? These guys, these guys are too good. They're, they're too OP. Where am I now? Where am I? What am I doing? There's tape over there. Oh. Okay, good. Right, I'm going through the tape. I hear someone in here. I thought I missed that first shot, so I took an extra one. But we have plenty of ammo, so I don't think we have to worry about those extra shots anymore. <gasps> elevator! Elevator! We're getting to the third floor now. I don't know if they ever hang out by the elevator. I haven't seen them by the elevators yet, but it's better to be safe than sorry. All right, third floor. And I think this is a three floor uh, warehouse, according to the outside. There might be like a fourth, like, office floor where we need to go, but there's like three big floors. And then maybe the fourth floor is the final, I don't know. I've never been to the end of the warehouse. I, I haven't seen anybody get to the end of the warehouse either. So this is gonna be all new for me. There's, it's like it's like somebody made a makeshift table here. They even put a pill. What is it? It's like they put a pillow down to sit, like like Japanese style, at a table with a mug on here. Like I've been expecting you. Have a seat, scrap man. We have much to discuss. The legacy of the farm bot shall not be interrupted. All right. Well, ignoring that potential uh, creepy side plot, let's move on and try to finish this warehouse. Whoa. This is a creepy section of the warehouse. I have not seen one with this much tape all over it. It's like a hallway, but is there any danger in here? So much tape. dead. Utility, utility, all the signs point towards utility. I'm gonna go this, I feel like I'm hearing one right there. Oh, right above me. There's one right above me. This room seems important. So the thing that I'm, that I think I'm looking for based off of the trailer, it has that symbol on it. But it's a glowing blue, like, light-up symbol. It's not just that symbol. Like, it, it's it's glowing and it's blue. Got him. Got him. I feel like... I'm starting to feel like this room is a dead end. This place is so intricate. This is a really interesting room, though. Alright, well, I think that's just a room. And there's nothing in there. So I'm going to go the other direction now. All right, I got him, I got him. There he is. What? No! Oh! You can hear more walking. It's like when one of their tape bots dies, they get like agitated, but they don't know where you are. All right, I feel like we're definitely going in the right direction. like four shots there that was amazing <sighs> that's stress leaking out of me what is that what is that what is that I want it! What if I hit it? Oh, this is the thing! This is like a real thing! The other ones that are like the haystacks that are in something like this, this is an actual packaged thing, but what is it? 
Oh man, we need to we need to figure out how to loot stuff from here. I think we got to get to this encrypted. There's another one. It says bananas on the side, but those are not bananas. Those are Oh! Are they dead? I just I thought okay, this just got really real. At first I thought that they were stuffed animals. But now I realize that those are not stuffed animals. Those are walks. This guy Are they <sighs> They're not dead, are they? I hope that they're just like sedated and this is like a whole walk package and we can actually like get a whole bundle of walks. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, that's it. They're they're just sleeping. They're just sleeping. That's all. Just sleeping. Oh. There's vents here again, but I'm gonna follow the main path. Last time I went to the vents, it kind of led me to... Okay. Well, we're back in a dead end room again. So maybe I have to go... I think I have to go through here now. This is the only option I see available to me, so let's do it. Things are getting really intense. This must be the top floor. Alright, where is this going to lead me? These are so complicated. These pathways are always... They're just... It's like a maze. I don't know where I'm even going. Oh, up more. Up more is good. Maybe. Oh, there's one right there! Alright, I definitely went up. Like, a few levels. Alright, I think we're okay. Oh my good. Is that a red one? Oh! <gasps> There was a red one! What does it mean? He still took one headshot. Maybe he does more damage? Oh, that'd be sad. That'd be really sad if he does more damage. They already do too much. Yeah, there's red ones up here. We're getting somewhere. We are definitely getting somewhere. What are the red ones? What's the difference? I don't want to find out the difference. The color is the one difference, but... Do they shoot different ammo? Do they... Do they do more damage? <gasps> what? What do these mean? What do these mean? How do I get... Oh, this is complicated. Okay. Okay. Okay, I got this. I see what I'm doing. I see what I'm doing. Is there a tape on here? I should have checked that before getting on the catwalk. I think we're okay. Alright, so we got two different doors with glowy things on them. This one has like a like a gauge symbol or perhaps like a lock, like a, a combination lock. And this one has what looks like an outlet power symbol. So I'm gonna go into the power one. Oh <gasps> whoa! Whoa! Look at all this! Okay, this is not what I thought it was going to be. This is just a loot room with all gold loot. And look at this! <gasps> we have finally! Finally! Oh, I don't even have enough for it. We're dropping batteries and we're dropping... Yeah, we're dropping stuff we don't need. Broccoli seeds and pineapple seeds. I was telling you guys in the past episodes... I'm gonna drink this just to get rid of an inventory slot. I was telling you guys how I couldn't, couldn't find broccoli seeds and I couldn't find pineapple seeds. And here they are, broccoli and pineapple seeds. And you know what this means? If we survive, if we get out of this alive, then for each of these, we're going to get two more seeds. So all we need is that first seed of each one. And then we're going to be able to start growing our crops. So we're going to drop a circuit board. We definitely want 10 of those. Man, I need more loot space. Battery. A level three engine? Gasoline? Ugh. All right, let's just see what I have to choose from. Oh my goodness. Another level three engine. This is such a good loot. A level three piston. Oh, this is amazing. Uh, all right. Um, we don't need fertilizer. All right. So I'm going to pick up definitely these component kits. <gasps> a level three saddle. All right. Sure. Level three engine. I can stack the gas. So that's good. Uh, another level three engine. Uh, I can't pick up the piston. Hmm. Oh, I'll drop more fertilizer. There we go. Holy cow, I hope that- Oh, uh, now I'm, I'm- I'm afraid to find more loot now. Because I'm gonna have to make some sacrifices. Is this a whole nother room of loot? Wait, what? There's nothing in here. 
There's actually nothing in here. What does it mean? This room had a label on it and everything. I hope I'm not missing something. All right, so this room that we're in right now, it did not, it was not what I thought it was. That's just a loot place. And it was amazing. That was so exciting. That was really, really exciting. All right, but we did not, I don't know if that was the purpose of coming. Like, is there more to this? Do we, like, I, I was under the impression that we have to find the encryptor, but I could have just been entirely wrong about that this whole time. And that might not even be a thing. Maybe what we just found was the reason for coming. Like, high tier loot. I got, did you see what I got? I got this, epic garment box, my first one ever. I got a rare, epic, and common. All right, and it doesn't seem to be any tape bots in this room, which is actually kind of interesting. There weren't any tape bots in the room with the most valuable stuff that I've found so far. Is that, and I need to know, if, is this elevator? Is this elevator, does this work? And, oh, does this work? Oh, oh man, wait. Like, I'm what, do we have winches? What are these? These, these are pieces I haven't seen before. Do we actually have the ability to make winches? I can't tell if this is meaning something that there's something new and how this game works or not, or if this is just all aesthetic and completely non-functional. I mean, obviously it doesn't work right now, but I'm wondering if that's because there's, you know, an interaction limitation until I find a certain thing. All right, well, we made it there, but is that, is that all we're doing here? I'm nervous now. I, I need to get out of here alive. I cannot lose my loot in here and not be able to get out. There he is. There we go. There we go. You really have to strafe. Oh, oh, red one. Whoa, there's the difference. There's the difference. I found the difference for the red ones. I found the difference for the red ones. <laughs> what? No. No. No, don't. I don't like this anymore. I want to get out. Oh, okay. He's dead. He's dead. At least it doesn't explode after he dies. Holy cow, man. I did not anticipate that. How much damage is that going to do? Oh, there's more. Please don't be red ones. All right. We're continuing. Elevator. Elevator. We're not at the top yet. We are not at the top yet. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I saw three main levels. So this might be going to the main control room area. Whatever that means. Is there going to be a boss up there? Is there going to be a boss up there with a very limited space to run? I'm going to be very, very unhappy if that's the case. All right, I'm topping off. There we go. Oh, there's going to be a boss up here, isn't there? There's going to be a boss. This is going to be bad. I'm going to die up on the fourth floor with all of this awesome loot. I'm not hearing any movement. Stress your stress. Like, I feel like there'd be a boss just waiting up here. Okay, so far. So far, it seems clear. The big door. What am I doing? That door's blocked off. I don't see anything up here. Very confused. Okay, I don't I don't actually see anything. I'm outside in the world right now. Like, we're on top of the whole warehouse. Look at this. We can see our world. I wonder if I could see where my car is. Man, look at this. Could I fall I could probably fall off here and die. All right, well, let's go check out this garage door. I didn't think these were interactable or openable. 
but it's all that's up here, it looks like. Out of order. Right, why can't we get on the roof? Why? What's the point of the roof here? I don't understand. I don't understand. I could get stuck here. If I fell off that, I could probably get stuck right there. Oh, okay. Uh, can I build up here? I can build up. We're, we're, we're officially out of the warehouse. All right, I'm going back into the warehouse. I, I guess I have to find my way out now, which is actually... That concerns me a little bit. Okay, so it seems like the purpose of the warehouse is to get that high tier loot. I, I don't know if I missed something, but I feel like that was a big that that was the big discovery of the warehouse was that high tier loot. Wait a minute. Why is this place blocked off? I thought we would be able to loot some of the materials from the warehouse, not just loot boxes though. Which I guess the more I think about it, the more it makes sense. Because if I could start tearing down the entire warehouse, that would just become a laggy mess. And then I couldn't come back here and re-loot, I don't think. Alright guys, I got another idea. I just backed up my save because this could be a game-breaking idea. But rather than finding my way all the way through the warehouse, why don't I jump off and die? And then my loot bag will be outside of the warehouse and... Or there's water. Can I survive jumping into the water? We could try that too. But my loot bag will be outside of the warehouse and I spawn in my car near the warehouse and that might be a potential quicker solution. So I'm doing it! Woo! I'm gonna miss the water. I'm missing the water. Uh-oh. 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 I'm playing the game wrong. Uh... Hold on, I need to get out of the water and fall through the map. There we go. What happens? <laughs> I survived? I survived that. That... Where's my car? Oh, there it is. I think? Please tell me that's my car. I see bearings. I don't see as many bearings as I feel like I should. No, that's not my car. There's my car! Okay. And I have all my loot. So I feel like that's the, that's just the easier way is jump off the roof. All right, I think that's good enough. So let's go ahead and uh, loot the rest of the outside of the warehouse because I totally skipped this entire area at the beginning. All right, I went around, looted the whole thing. I found a couple of component kits. I really like these warehouse lights. I feel like those are going to be nice for lighting uh, when you're building like different base things. Got some batteries, of course, and I just got some materials from the sheds. Uh, not too much loot, though. All right, now it is time to find my way back home and uh, we're gonna plant these new, the broccoli and the pineapple. We're gonna plant our first crop and I'm gonna show you how the watering system actually works on a dry crop because you couldn't really see it working because everything was all, all wet. Whoa, whoa, hold on a second. What is this? This would be so cool for a boat racing course. What is this? I hope there's not tape bots here. I thought I seen like all the different tiles that this that this uh, survival had to offer, but nope. I felt like I explored pretty well, but here's a brand new tile. Is there, is there something here? Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, slow down, turn around. All right, we're going back, we're going back. And actually I might want to fight this guy for another warehouse key because I already used one on that warehouse. So now I have a, oh, okay, is he coming after me? The little guys are, the big guy isn't. All right, so I'm gonna try a new strategy here to fight the big guy. We have plenty of spuds, and uh, one of you in the comments that I saw in the last video uh, played it back in slow motion when I was fighting one of the big guys, and you counted exactly 60 shots to kill the big guy. So that's what I'm gonna try to do here. If I shoot this guy, hold on, here's my strategy. Ready? I'm gonna do this. All right, so here's my strategy. I'm just gonna make a hole here and he's probably gonna break right through this very, very quickly. If I take this guy out first, will he come after me? All right, nope. All right, so this is my protection. Ready? Here we go. Let's see how long this lasts. All right, I'm backing up from the wall. Okay, it's helping. 
That worked so well. Holy cow, that worked really well. Wow. I didn't know that that was going to work that well. I thought he was going to break through and I was going to run. All right. So what is this place then? Oh, that's interesting. There's one of these ponds. Oh, I just realized, I think if I fell in the pond and died, would my loot bag be at the bottom of this pond and I wouldn't be able to get it? He says as he precariously walks over a thin balance beam. So this must just be a place to get chemicals. Oh, this one's this one's empty. All right. Oh, my inventory's full, really? Aw, oh, man. All right, so I'm pretty sure that's what this place is all about. Mystery solved. Yeah, these are like the chemical uh, colors and stuff. And there's letters and numbers, and that just sounds very chemically to me. Man, there's a lot of loot stuff on here. Oh, look at that, more component kits. This is awesome. This place was really, I'm really glad I found this place. I don't know how to get back home because I've never, I don't recognize this place at all. So I'm gonna try my best to make it back home. We made it back. I feel like that warehouse that I went to was literally the opposite corner of this entire map from where I am right now. Like that was an intense like drive. I've never driven that far. Like, just straight shot all at once. That was crazy. Okay, so it is time. It is time to do some farming, and I get to show you how my farm works. All right, so I planted the crops, and I waited till the sun came up so we can uh, wash the watering system with some light together. So I got my five broccoli here and my five pineapple here, and it's kind of kind of funny that they gave us five apiece because you need ten in order to make one full package at the packing station. So they gave you half that. And then after this, we'll be able to plant 10 of each. So then we'll have 15 total and it'll just keep in exponentially increasing. So I finally got those in the works, which means that we're going to be working on getting a the other spud guns, the Gatling gun and the shotgun very, very soon. Then I got my potatoes and then I got my oranges and then my blueberries and then my bananas and then my beets. I don't I don't have any carrots this time. All right. So let's see how well we can water them with the press of a button and go. Really? How'd you miss the f your first shot? You missed your first shot. Well, you're coming back. You're coming back. And maybe I'm in the way. I might be in the way. I'm going to get out of the way over here. I think I might be in the way. Yeah, that might have been me. There we go. This is doing good so far. Look at this. This is doing really good. Yes. Yes. Oh, are you done? Wait, wait, wait. If I go, if I put these on loop. Oh, you know what? Oh, that's it. I know how to do it now. I need to put the top one on loop, but the bottom one not on loop. I think that's what's need to happen. And then it should actually get the last ones finally. Because it does the whole first section pretty well, but then getting to this last corner is where it kind of slows down. So I think that it's just going to keep going up and down this last section now. But it's out of water, so it's, it has to pull it in from the ground once a second. So that's why it's missing it now. Maybe it'll be lucky and just get it. Come on, get it. Get it. Get it. No, it just, it just keeps missing it. So I'll just do the manual one. We'll press the button here. And then out of all that, 99 out of 100 crops were watered pretty quickly. And then we just had to get the last one ourselves. But now that shouldn't be a problem with the new method that I just, with the new adjustment I just made. All right. And then these will slowly refill uh, in between sessions. So I think this is really, really effective for a 100 crop uh, plot. The only issue is that this only works with a 10 by 10 area. These pistons are maxed out to cover this entire area. So if I add any more, I'm going to need to make a new watering system. All right, so make sure you are subscribed because in the next episode, we are going to be farming our way towards the spud shotgun and the spud gatling gun. I'm going to get both of them and we're going to experiment with them. We got plenty of ammo to experiment. I'm curious how much ammo the spud shotgun takes per shot. Actually, it probably would take one because I think it's splitting a single potato into fry uh, pellets. 
So I'm hoping it's only going to take one per shot, but it's double barrel, so maybe it's two per shot. And the Gatling gun is obviously just going to be faster with the single shots, I think. But I'm really curious to see how that's going to uh, affect our damage on the Haybots. How many shotgun shots on a Haybot versus a regular shot? All right, so if you haven't been following this series from the beginning to see how I got to where I'm at today, then go ahead and check out the playlist on the end screen right here, as well as other videos that you might like. I hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.